A Fair Land is one of IMMA's most important projects of 2016. The public manifestation of the project will be seen in the courtyard through August or has been in preparation in the weeks before that and will be a very activated space, an artist village um, which will include a straw field where we'll be growing a crop, a straw barn in which we'll be processing the crop and then a structure that will create a kind of communal space, a village hall where people can come together to discuss the ideas in the project, to sample the, some of the incredible food made by the artist team. But this project, although the kind of the, the public engagement with it will be for those very active three weeks in August, has been in development for a number of months. Um, what, IMMA, working in collaboration with Grisdale Arts, has developed the project through IMMA's residency program. IMMA is unusual as a museum in having an incredible resource on site of a number of studios and spaces for artists to live and work. And one of the, the origins of this project is an invitation from IMMA to Grisdale Arts um, to come to Ireland to run and work with us and take over our residency programme and through that process develop a project that artists working together collaboratively with Grisdale Arts, with the team at IMMA over that period to develop a major project that could be then brought to the public through August. So basically this is a group of people that got arrested mm -hmm. and someone took a photo of them before they got arrested. And in the back you see the police. Because they're all people that claimed a piece of land illegally. As Ireland's in this very important year of 2016, IMMA's response in our programme has been to think about and reflect back on the role that artists played, the very crucial role that artists and thinkers played in the run-up to the Easter Rising, in imagining the new Irish state and imagining what that state could be. Many of their ideas were not realised and as we look back we think about the kind of vision for society that they had. This idea runs throughout IMMA's programme for the year as we invite artists to consider on our identity now, on our history, on what it means to be an artist within society. But fundamental to a fair land is this question of the artist's role in imagining society, in the, the role of creativity in our society. And the response to that, the proposition for that, is an artist's village, a village that is run through this creative process. Learning is very, very central to a fair land. Each of the systems within the village, whether that's the agriculture, the food system, the design, the industry, have been created with it, thinking through ways in which we can create opportunities for learning for the audience that come up and, in, and engage with us in the project through the summer. And that's learning in a very proactive, engaged and in very enjoyable way. So throughout, so audiences coming up into the courtyard and taking part in a fair land through the summer have a number of ways in which they can get involved. They can become part of the food school, which is a dedicated group of people who will be working closely with the artist team, learning more about the food that's been produced through the village, using the, the gluck crop, which is at the core of the, of the project, learning about the domestic systems that kind of operating behind the project. Um, We'll be every afternoon proposing a, a school of reinvention where we'll invite people to think about different ways in which new systems can be imagined or have been realised um, both here and internationally. Ways in which creativity can form and affect our ways of thinking about how we live now. Um, there are great opportunities for families to come up together and as a family engage with making, with thinking about the things that we surround ourselves with the things that we surround ourselves in, the, in our domestic life that families can come together and, and at the making stations make a spoon, make a bowl, make a jar of pickles or take a walk through Emma's incredible site here at the Royal Hospital Comenum and learn more about the very complex history of this site, of the extraordinary range of plants that we have here and, and the uses of those plants, how those plants become part of our, our day to day life. Grisdale Arts is an organisation based in the Lake District of England, a very rich uh, cultural uh, area, which has increasingly become a tourist destination and is really understood in quite a one-dimensional way. And one of the ambitions of Grisdale has been to try to re-envisage what um, community uh, and what the rural, a rural community uh, might do and might uh, give to the world. So we very much, uh, from the background of being a sculpture park, we very much thought about how we might export uh, the culture that we're, we develop. 
We focus on working in a very small community called Coniston uh, and we think about how art would be useful in everyday life, in what way that would enhance uh, people's experience of living in a very fundamental way. Uh, in many ways that is to make that a more interesting place to live, a more complex uh, and richer. Um, it is also about re-envisaging how the artist is valued and how the artists value themselves, what artists think their role is uh, in the world. And I think now uh, is a great opportunity for, younger, for all artists to, to re reposition themselves, to place their creativity and their, their skills within um, a, a functional and valued role. And so this is the kind of model that we've been developing and finding ways for artists to express that way of working. Uh, and it's been very successful. People embrace that. People suddenly realize that creativity is really useful to them, has a value, works, achieves things. Uh, and for artists, it's in many cases, it's a revelation that to be wanted, to be needed, to be useful. Um, so we're very, I find that personally, for me, that's been a revelation. I've worked in the arts all my life and uh, often in a very kind of confrontational way than the tradition of the artist as a kind of deconstructor of society. And the idea of reconstructing and contributing and making things work better is something that's really needed. Uh, it isn't just the art world that's become professional, overly professionalized and specialized. It's every, every avenue and the reconnecting and joining things back together is something that we're, we've been working on for many years and this project here in Emma takes that uh, into a kind of, a, perhaps a theatrical expression of it. But underlying that is an ambition to, for the museum here and the residency program here to, to see if that can change and become a much more vital part of the, the museum and, it, and its public role. The Fairland, the, the system, it's not really a village, but uh, we're calling it a village, but it's a system for uh, a sustainable system, a kind of instant system. The straw bale concept is a, a fermenting a straw bale and growing it. You don't need to weed, you don't need to, uh, you don't need really to look after it that much. You have to water it quite a lot. But Ireland does quite a lot of, on its, of that on its own. And from that, uh, cons the idea of the straw bale garden, we, we're going to produce the crop, and it's going to be a single crop of courgettes. And the ambition of, to produce courgettes is to make too many, so that people, uh, ourselves, and people involved in the project are forced to think more creatively about how they use those crops. And from that crop, we will produce uh, the product so everything is drawn from the courgette, all the imagery is drawn from the courgette, and we're making very simple things that anyone can make. So we set up a system for making where um, you can either purchase an object that's been made that will be in use in the, in the village, or you can make it for free. The ambition is to encourage people to make things. The idea that making is a way of realizing that you control the world around you, that you can make something that you can use. And if you can make an object you can use, you can make a political system that you can use. So it's a kind of notion of self-determination. The product is not very important. The idea that you can make it is important.